So we built ourselves a little fishing boat. I think it turned out really well. I like the little canopy over the back where the fishermen hang out. You got this tall little cab, uh, some windows here. And then uh, the front is pretty cool too. It's got the double look or a double slope to it. So I think it turned out really well. Uh, but the question is, will it float? And now we gotta figure out how, whether or not this is gonna float or not. So let's bring the bowl, our trusty bowl of water onto the stage here. And uh, move our camera back and zoom out just a little bit. So we got our bowl of water. We got our fishing boat. Now let's put in our fishing boat in and see if it's gonna float. Oh. I don't think so. It Most of it's underwater already. It's got a little bit of pocket air uh, right there at the beginning. Uh, but no, this is not floating. Oh God, it's upside down. It went upside down even. It, it's, it is top heavy. But even then, if, if it wasn't flipped upside down, it's not floating. This is a no-go. This is an absolute no-go. The, the last episode with the ocean liner, I could say it was floating a little bit, but this is just upside down in the water and totally not floating. Totally not something that you can drive through the water if I put a motor on it. Uh, definitely not going to uh, be good for the fishermen to be upside down half the time, or at least underwater. Uh, it, there's a little bit of air pocket. I think it's trapped between the pink and the purple where the air pocket is. So there's, it has a little bit of buoyancy, but that just tips it over. And now we got ourselves a upside down fishing boat. Well, that was pretty cool. What do you guys think? Do you think that this was a good design? Not a good design? Leave a comment. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our cool videos that we make each and every day. And uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Thanks everybody, let's go check out how I built this in about five minutes of time. So we need to build a boat that floats and it's gotta look like a fishing boat. So let's get five minutes on the clock and let's get to it. So a fishing boat, I'm thinking something like this. Um, really great pieces. Okay, something like this. More of a flat bottom. I'm a little worried about this one floating. I honestly think this one will not float, but given the idea that I have in my head, which is like thin on the back side, right? I'm trying. I'm gonna try to keep this as thin as possible so that it looks like a fishing boat. So let's see. Maybe something like this. Let's trade out these colors. Something like that. Okay. Then I want the windows. Maybe I need to cover these up. Yeah, something like that. You guys seeing what I'm doing? Okay. Something like that. And then the windows are going to go here or a little bit higher. What do we think? Uh, a little bit higher. And then a canopy over it. Yeah, like that. So we gotta go up a little higher. Like that, yep. That's what I'm thinking. Because you always see the fishing boats where they have this canopy over the back part or portion of the back part and then they have the pole sticking out. So that's, what, that's the kind of feel I'm looking to build here. Now maybe I can add these windows. Is that a feature I can add? Yes, I can. So we built put in these windows 
And we got ourselves a little fishing boat. I think. Like a crab fishing boat. <clears throat> well, not a crab fishing boat. Like a lobster fishing boat. That's what I'm thinking. Those main lobstermen. You know that show uh, where they, they go on the back of the boat. And then they haul the traps for the uh, lobsters in. That looks like it looks like it. It's got the cab that's a little tall, a little taller than normal, and then it's got the canopy overhead that kind of protects the uh, fishermen from the the sun a little bit. Got some windows on the side. I think that turned out really well. Um, so make sure to check out the beginning of the video to see if it floats. And if you want to play along with us, make sure that you go click on the link below. It's 221 pieces, this kit. You typically can pick it up for about $15 on Amazon. If not, let me know. I'll go find another kit so that we can play along together. Um, but that's the kit I've been using for the last 100 episodes. And uh, hopefully going to keep going with it. Um, and then make sure to share any of your pictures or your creations on social media. Uh, make share daily hashtag make share daily and you can see the links at the end of the video as well to our social media so what do you guys think you think it's gonna float I don't know you probably already watched the beginning of the video so you already know if it's gonna float or not I do not so I think it turned out fairly well as a as the overall look of a fishing boat I don't think it's gonna float I think this back end is gonna dip in just like this and then maybe this front part will have enough air in it to hold the front part up. But that's what my prediction is. And uh, hopefully you've already watched this, so you probably already know. Let's go check out how what we're going to build tomorrow. Uh, each and every day we put out a new video, so make sure to like and subscribe down below and check out our new videos each and every day. Okay, let's go check out what we're building tomorrow. Let's go check it out. So fishing boat, that was kind of fun. Well, let's spin the wheel and find out what boat we're going to build next. Again, all this week we're doing boats to make them float. So it is a bonus. So that's kind of cool. I don't know what I'm going to build. Let's go check out what I'm going to build tomorrow for the bonus episode for the Will It Float Boat Challenge. Okay, let's go check it out. And I'll leave you with this. I want everybody in our community to make something and share something each and every day that's the whole point of this channel is to have a community of makers going ahead and making whatever they love to make i think you'll be happier and more engaged in life if you just go ahead and make something today thanks everybody for watching we'll see you next time bye bye